What's going on, guys? Back here with more Rangers reviews. Day one of free agency is done. Uh, I am not going to be reviewing any other signings besides what the Rangers did today. And that is it. Also, no videos for like the next four days because I'm going to be in New York. So, well, I'm going away. Going away to New York, which some of you that don't know, I've been living in Carolina the past year. So, tomorrow I am going back to New York to visit family. And um, I will be gone for a few days, but I should be back. Thursday night if I am lucky if I'm lucky um, but anyways let me take off these glasses because they're making a bad glare so today the Rangers made a couple of moves uh, well they made a couple yeah literally a couple moves they signed Frederick Clayson and they re-signed Vlad Nemesnikov um, if I could spell Clayson correctly Frederick Clayson okay so, you guys already know what I'm going to say about the defensemen. We don't need any more of them, but we signed another one. Why the fuck not? Keep drafting them. Why not sign them too? Uh, well, Frederick Clayson's not bad. Um, elite prospect in 2011 said, A solid state home defenseman, Clayson plays a simple and smart game without taking any risks. He has a pretty good shot, but does not use it too often. Could use some work on his puck skills. He's not terrible. Um, I follow a lot of Senators fans on Twitter, and they were saying they wish they had seen him in the lineup more last season. Um, I guess this will just be another, like, Clen Denning thing that the Rangers had. Just a young defenseman that couldn't get his way anywhere else. Comes to the Rangers, he thinks he's going to get his way, and he doesn't get shit. Um, that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm expecting out of Clayson. Either that, or he's going to be in the Bayers. Oh, God, he's, I mean, from what I've seen, I, every time we've played Ottawa and he's been in the lineup against us, he never really stood out. I never really noticed him. So, yeah, just another defenseman signing. I, listen, the way people rant and rave about him in Ottawa, wanting to see him in and out, of, uh, wanting to see him in the lineup and all that, gives me some kind of hope. Maybe, hey, listen, maybe he'll be a seventh defenseman or something. But you know, let me just pull up cap friendly right here if it still isn't crashed, and I'll just tell you my counter argument to my own argument. Um, right. So we still have Shea, Gilmore, O'Gara, Camphor, Clayson, D'Angelo, Pionk, Smith, Stall, Shack. So we have ten. <laughs> We have, 10 fucking, we have 10 NHL defenseman bodies, which is why I'm against this signing. Um, and he's a lefty, too. Like, if he was a righty, he'd be like, all right, you know what? Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I'm not for it, um, but I'm not against it in a weird way. But it, it's, just, it's just fucking stupid. Like, why? Why? Why do we need another left-handed defenseman? Why? Tell me. We have Shea, Gilmore, O'Gara, now Clayson. Um, Smiths and Stalls. We have six left-handed shots. Three right-handed shots. I just... This is just... Maybe it's just me. Uh, and we, we still have Steven Camper under contract for another year, and he makes 50 grand less than Clayson. So... Why? And Clayson signed a one-way. So he's making 700 grand in or out of the NHL. He's making 700 grand next year. Camper's on a two-way, so he makes less when he's in the minors. Um, but I guess the owner, Dolan, is dumber than we thought. Um, he'd rather pay out an extra five hundred and thirty thousand dollars or something like that. So good for him. Good for him. That piece of shit. Yeah, I, I it's just, just. I mean, come another defenseman. Uh, I, it doesn't. I, I'm, I'm not. I don't even care anymore about that we have too many defensemen. I'm, 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 I'm just. I'm fucking done with it. Why, why did Clayson sign? What? Like, if I'm Frederick Clayson, there are thirty-one teams in the NHL. I'm sure more than the Rangers. Gave him a phone call at some point. Why the fuck did he choose the Rangers of all teams? Like, dude, you're 25 years old, right? You're trying, you're trying to play on a team. Why are you going to the team that already has nine guys? Why the, what the fuck is Clayson thinking? Like, buddy, I'm doing the work here. Why are you going to the Rangers? Why? Why? Of all teams to go to the Rangers. In this market too, like, you really want to be surrounded by the, us, us asshole Ranger fans like this? See the way I get? I mean, come on, man. Come on, Clayson. It's the fucking program, dude. Plenty of teams that need defensemen right now. And the idiot chose us. Anyways, forwards. So the Nemesnikov contract, two years, four million a year. That's not bad. I mean, I was a, I'm against keeping Nemesnikov because I think one, I think he's a product of Kucherov and Samuel Glasher. I do not think he's as good as he's advertised. I think he's a two and a half, three million dollar player who's two way guy, maybe a third liner. I don't think he's a second liner. You know, Vlad Nemesnikov. He's getting paid the same amount as David Perron, and Perron's coming off a 66-point season. You know, it's just like you wonder, did Perron get shorted or did Nemestikov get too much? I, I don't think Nemestikov's worth that. It's a two-year deal. Um, I mean, you could trade him as a rental the year after next, but um, I, 
I'm not, I thought it was, I, I, I guess because that's what he wanted, it was good value-wise for what we resigned him for. And I'm not against seeing the Nemestikov for part of next year, but I would also see, like to see Nemestikov get traded and bring us back a fucking asset because we need youth and we need young forwards. Not that Nemestikov is not a young forward. It's just, I don't know how good he actually is. Can he run a line by himself? Can he, I don't know. In my in my eyes, he's a third line winger on a good team. He is not a second line. I want my freaking lights on the floor. I'm not gonna forget that. Uh, I need my. I'm like my throat. I'm gonna get my fucking water. One second. I am losing my breath. All right. Anyways, high quality H2O. He's a high, he's a good third liner on a winning team. He is a shitty second liner on a losing team. He is a complimentary player on the top line of a very good team. Uh, oh, God, what the fuck? What is happening to me right now? I got, like, hair in my mouth. What the fuck? Don't drink Deer Park. But, yeah, I don't know. He's yeah, on, on a really good team with Sam Coase and Kucherov. Yeah, he's an awesome first liner. Because he's just uh, picking up the garbage. Or or he's the one that back checks when Kucherov and Stamkos are running the table. You know what? Oh, God. We still have to uh, re-sign uh, Spooner, Hayes, VC, Skajiza, Gilmore, O'Gara. Uh, Big Grist doesn't matter. Nieves doesn't really matter. Fogarty. I'm surprised we even qualified him in offer. Guy's 25 years old. He just played his first, uh, second year in the AHL. He had 20 points the first year. He had 20 points the second year. So he went like this. Not this, not this, just this. Get out. Played one game in the NHL. He took a penalty, and that's about it. But yeah, that's... Uh, oh, God. Yeah, it was funny. Well, a few years ago, uh, when uh, Mike Camilleri was still in Calgary, if we were to trade for him, it would be a second-round pick, and Stephen Fogarty is what I read. And that's going back three or four years ago now. But, yeah, I mean, tomorrow, I mean, listen, within the next 10 days or something, I guess we're going to see if the Rangers are going to do anything forward rise. I keep saying, I think the Rangers are going to make a, like, if they're smart, they're going to sign um, low risk, high reward players, like any smart team would uh, that's not trying to make the playoffs, just wants one year guy, they can flip them at the deadline. Like, Tyler Ennis would be an awesome get for the Rangers because if he pans out, he pans out. You got an awesome player that you can either flip or hold on to for next season, and then you got a player, um, or you just have a guy. If he sucks, he just sucks, and you have him for one year, you let him go, you release him to the wild, and then he's not your problem anymore. But yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's about it for today. Nothing really big for the Rangers. The rest of the league seemed to have a field day, but the Rangers absolutely did not. And it kind of sucks. You know, I was... It should, it's, it's just weird, right? Because, you know, as Ranger fans, we're always thinking, once free agency rolls around, where, who are we going to sign? Who, who's this year? I mean, last year was Shattenkirk, and we, we knew going into the season we weren't going to be that great, but we signed Shattenkirk anyways. Now, this year, is, it's just like the first time in a while that we're not in on a big free agent or something. It's just going to be a boring offseason, you know? Even if there's a couple minor trades... Oh, God, excuse me. It's still going to be a boring offseason for the Rangers. Um, so I guess we got to get used to this for the next few years. Um, although I do mention... Excuse me, God damn it. I am totally okay with not eating shit contracts this year. Uh, like I had previously mentioned, would be a good idea. Like, take crappy players back like Callahan. And the Lightning will give you these prospects or these picks to take his contract. I'm Honestly, I'm okay if they don't do that if... If next year they spend money in free agency, because if you guys uh, aren't aware of next year's free agency class, check this out. Check this out. Uh, um, all right, so next year you got, not that we're going to sign them because we don't need them, but Bobrovsky, Rene, Eric Carlson, Eberle, Duchesne, Pavelski, Panarin, Varlamov, Flurry, Sagan, Sagan, Skinner, Smith, Wheeler, Pominville. Mm. Tyler Myers, uh, Jay Bomeiser, Broussard, Edler, Chara, uh, Kucherov, he's an RFA, Cronwall, Nykvist, Laterra, Strawman, Zuccarello, Justin Williams, Max Pacci, O. Red T, Cam Tablet, Talbot, Jake Gardner, Haglin, Henrique, Simmons, Wilson, Silverberg, Lee, 
Coburn, Stahl, McCann, Burakovsky, Delzaster, Marcus freaking Kruger, Ron Hainsey, Cam Ward, Vanek, uh, Richard Ponick, Brian Burrell, uh, Adam McQuaid. Oh my God, the list goes on and on and on and on. Plakanich, Riley Shahan, Nikita Zadorov, Nate Schmidt. You know, it's, it's just a, a lot of guys that are going to be free agents next year. And this is just a few of them. We don't even, you know. So, yeah, I mean, if they want to save cash this year and go all in next year, I ain't going to stop them. Uh, assuming we saw, let's say we re-sign everybody. Hayes is going to get five mil a year. Spooner's going to get three and a half, eight and a half. VC will get two and a half. That's 11 right there. Shea will get four and a half, so that is 15 and a half. Um... Kilmore again, 900. That's another million. So we'll say 16 and a half. Uh, and then a goalie was going to be going gift. So we're still going to have, after signing all those guys, about $9 million in cap space. Um, as of right now, at the trade deadline, we're going to have $110 million in cap space. Never seen that before with the Rangers. Um, and then next year, uh, whose contract ends? Zuccarello is really the only contract that ends that actually does have some kind of financial. Significance, however, oh god, excuse me, I apologize for running. Uh, Smith and Stahl, I wouldn't be surprised if they get bought out next year. Don't buy them out this year when they have three years left. You buy them out and you're paying them for the next six years. I'd rather pay them for four years than six years, it just makes more sense. Or just let, them, let their contract run out with you. I mean, we, we don't necessarily need the money, we're not competing, so it's not entirely necessary. Um that we buy them out because it's bad enough we got to pay Girardi each year the next five years. That's just because after the third year, years four, five, and six that we're still paying him, it's it's just it's just it's nothing. It's just it's just money there that's in the way and it's annoying, you know. Until two thousand until until the twenty twenty three twenty twenty four season, we're gonna have just dead cap space, just dead a dead cap hit that's just there, and that sucks. That really sucks. But yeah, anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wrap this up here. So, hopefully the next few days will be eventful. If the Rangers do something big, I'll make I'll make like a short video of it. Um, wherever I'm at. I'm at my favorite restaurant or something like that. Who knows? I'll make a video. I don't give a shit. I'll make a video of it. Um, but it, obviously not going to be any NHL 18 be a jam mode. Not like I, I post those anyway. I'm a lazy F. Um, although when I get back, I'm going to restart. Uh, well, move on in the uh, Modern Warfare series. i got to play NW3 now. Um, gotta do that campaign because MW4. Um, actually, let me pull this up for you. Um, duty modern warfare. Oops, I can't spell MW4. I think it's gonna be the next Call of Duty game after um, uh, Black Ops 4. Um, where yeah, it's it's speculated, it's speculated. Uh, and people, the people want it. I want it. I would love a Modern Warfare 4. I mean, I don't know what they could do because I, I'm not going to spoil anything if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, just, just watch the series. You'll see what happens in the end. There's just, it just, you, it makes you wonder what, what could they do next. But anyways, I digress. Um, but yeah, wish me luck and wish me a safe trip to New York. And um, hopefully I'll be in touch with you guys soon. Peace.